Yesterday, the White House press secretary opened up a can of worms, sort of, that Donald Trump knew that Russia was involved in hacking of the Democratic Party and the Clinton campaign, and that the Russian involvement was having a negative impact on his opponents, meaning Hillary Clinton's campaign. The same charge has been repeated in the conservative circles. Why didn't they complain about the Russian hacking before the elections? The Trump supporters and these conservatives are saying the media and others are only trying to undermine Donald Trump now, only trying to delegitimize his presidency. Oh, really? Where have Donald Trump and these people been over the last six months? Way back in July, right before the Democratic Convention started, when the news broke that the Democratic Party had been hacked, the Clinton campaign complained and was rightfully questioned about those complaints. What's disturbing to us is that we, uh, experts are telling us that uh, Russian state actors broke into the DNC, stole these emails, and uh, other experts are now saying that they are, the Russians are releasing these emails for the purpose of actually helping Donald Trump. I don't think it's coincidental that these emails were released uh, on the eve of our convention here. And, and that's disturbing. Uh, and I think we need to be concerned about that. I think we need to be concerned that we also saw uh, at last week at the Republican convention that Trump and his allies made changes to the Republican platform uh, uh, to make it more pro-Russian. And, and we saw him talking about how NATO shouldn't intervene to defend and necessarily should intervene to defend our Eastern European allies if they're attacked by Russia. So I think when you put all this together, it's a, it's a disturbing picture, and I think voters need to reflect on that. What evidence is there that the Russians were behind this in terms of the hacking or in terms of the timing by WikiLeaks? Well, I, I, we need to let the experts speak on this. It's been reported on in the press uh, that, the, that the hackers that got into the DNC are very likely to be uh, working in coordination uh, with Russia. And again, I, I think it's, if the Russians in fact have these emails, again, I don't think it's very coincidental that they're being released at this time to, to, to create maximum damage uh, on Hillary Clinton and to help Donald Trump. During the same week, President Obama was questioned, and this is what he said. The Russians are number one behind that hack and the release, and that they're actually trying to interfere with the U.S. political election. Well, uh, I think the FBI is still investigating uh, what happened. I know that experts have attributed this to the Russians. Um, what we do know is, is that the Russians hack our systems, uh, not just government systems, but private systems. But uh, you know, what the motives were in terms of the leaks, all that, uh, I can't say directly. Uh, what I do know is that um, Donald Trump has repeatedly expressed admiration for uh, Vladimir Putin. It sounds like you're suggesting that Putin might be motivated to prefer Trump in the White House. Well, uh, I am basing this on what Mr. Trump himself has said. Uh, and I think that uh, Trump's gotten pretty favorable coverage uh, back in Russia. Is it possible in your mind that the Russians would try to influence the U.S. election? Uh, anything's possible. It was reported the U.S. believes that people working for the Russian government are behind the hack of internal emails at the Democratic National Committee. Officials confirmed Tuesday to CBS News. We understand how hack groups use the internet to attack. In one of the debates, the issue came up squarely. In fact, Hillary Clinton said, and believe me, they're not doing it to get me elected. They're doing it to try to influence the election for Donald Trump. After an October federal government release that 17 agencies believe that the Russians are hacking to influence the outcome of the election, Joe Biden said. Who in the last debate refused to acknowledge what 17 of our intelligence agencies have confirmed, flatly stated, that Russia and Putin are responsible for hacking the Democratic files in order to impact on the outcome of our election. And when he says to the world listening that I know the intelligence agencies don't know what they're talking about, what does that say about us? 
That plays directly in the hands of Putin, who is using the propaganda at home to suggest that we're weak, we've fallen, we are not together, we don't know what we're doing. Recently, the issue of Russian hacking has emerged once again. Why? Because all of the government agencies, all of the investigative agencies have concluded the same. That is, the Russians tried to influence the election. To that, Donald Trump said ridiculous. Earlier this week, it was reported that the CIA believes that the Russians were trying to help Donald Trump. The FBI and the intelligence agencies cannot say what the intent was. But all the American intelligence agencies believe that the Russians were trying to interfere with our election. Last night, intelligence officials believe that Russian President Putin became personally involved in the campaign to interfere in the United States presidential election. His suspected involvement was first reported by NBC News. They also reported last night. New intelligence shows that Putin directed how hack material from Democrats were leaked and otherwise used. Today, CBS, citing its own American intelligence sources, reported that investigators believe the initial cyber attack involved thousands of militias emails aimed at the U.S. government, military, and political organizations. The facts are very clear. Donald Trump is wrong. The White House did not wait until after the elections, nor did Hillary Clinton, nor did the Democrats. The complaints were obvious. It is equally obvious that the more that Donald Trump denies the very existence of Russian hacking, the little credibility that he will have as President of the United States.